Welcome to Megapath Presents, I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today I got some quickie news for fans and collectors of the Walking Dead comic, especially the Walking Dead comic. Now listen, I was right about to get some sleep so I can wake up, go and purchase issue 157 of the Walking Dead comic and the kick-ass variant for Michonne in the morning and do a review for you guys so I was about to stop binge watching the shit out of Stranger Things on Netflix that show has hooked me anyway I'm about to go to bed and somebody tweets me an image of all six connecting variant covers for the Whisperer War I had to just fucking do this video before I went to bed it is epic my God, is it gorgeous. The art alone is incredible. First up, you guys know we have Michonne. Next issue, part two, is going to have Jesus kicking ass, and they are surrounded by whispers and zombies, it looks like. Yeah, there's walkers and whispers. He has an axe, and he looks like he could use some help, actually, but he's kicking ass. And then we got a gorgeous gorgeous part three with Andrea. She couldn't look any cooler. She looks like she belongs in the Wild West. She is like, you know, the Clint Eastwood of the Walking Dead comic. She looks epic. And she's got dual revolvers looking badass, man. And looking at Zombie right above her, too. Straight up where her left arm is. Look right up. <laughs> I don't know if that's a zombie or a walker, but... Yeah, man. This Oh, my God. These, this, these fucking covers are amazing. You got the zombie above that arm, and then behind him is this wicked-looking whisper with an axe. Now, that is damn. Just damn. Creepy and cool an epic all at the same time moving on to part four we have rick grimes kicking ass like a beast he is just slamming this whisperer with his cane he has his little claw hand there the walker or whisperer right by that claw hand looks pretty vicious too but people are just kicking ass there's someone's holding a sword in the air i think that might be a whisper but anyway part five has a ripped carl he looks badass, too. He is shooting a walker slash whisper in the head. Brains are exploding everywhere. Lydia looks sexy and badass right next to him. They are the Romeo and Juliet so far of the Walking Dead comic. And then Negan on part six kind of looks like a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde type Negan. He gives me that vibe. Like, you know, you know, he reminds me of you ever see the mask, the Jim Carrey movie in the 90s where uh, the club owner, what was his name? That one club owner who's dating a blonde chick and Jim Carrey moves in on his te uh, his territory and he puts on the mask. That's what Negan looks like. Negan looks like the bad mask from the old mask yeah i said mask like a hundred million times but uh that's who he looks like but holy shit now i already have two copies of issue 157 on hold for me at the comic book shop i'm picking them up in a few hours and i'm definitely getting two more copies of every single cover because best believe not only will i be connecting these covers and posting them up but i'm also hopefully going to be buying a poster of this if they release a poster if they do not release a poster then they're slacking because People will buy this. This is some awesome, epic art, and I am super hyped for the Whisper War, especially seeing this banner now. And now that I'm seeing it, I honestly think this is something they should have promoted a month ago. They should be rocking this poster hard because just looking at this poster has me through the roof with excitement for the coming Whisper War. Man, I love this poster. I'm hyped. I'm going to get some sleep so I can get the comic. And uh, you guys let me know what you think of these covers. Put those thoughts and opinions in that comment box. I'm done talking. It's your turn. Subscribe now.